Hello and welcome to Gotham Sound TV. I'm here with Doc Justice um, from um, Halter Technical, not technology or Nailed it. technician. First try. Um, we're thing. here just to talk about headphones, uh, onset um, IFB monitors. Um, tell me about yourself. What? How did you get into the headphone business? Yeah, uh, I am a production sound mixer and audio supervisor, um, and. I've been a mixer for coming up on 15 years now, so um, still young in the game. But um, Halter Technical was born out of frustrations on set, really. It was, I got used to handing producers and directors an IFB and handing them a headset and them saying, you know, no thanks, I'd rather use my own iPhone buds or I'd have something else or just, mm -hmm. they didn't want the thing I was giving them. And I just thought like, why is this acceptable that we like every, every day on set, we do the same thing. We go through the same dance. I have to hand them a headset mm -hmm. and they say, no, thank you every day. And I was like this, there's gotta be a better option. And I went searching for a better option. And when I found out that there wasn't one, <laughs> I decided to make one. Um, and that is really where this little guy was born uh, from, the field monitor headset. So tell me about uh, what are the, some of the perks of it, what can you do with it, and why is it something that people should buy? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the field monitor, it's a single earbud headset um, designed specifically for IFB and ComTech use. Um, it is really geared towards uh, anybody on set who needs to either keep a open ear to set or needs to wear a walkie in one ear. Mm. Um, so, so like an AD or... ADs, um, loggers and story producers in reality TV, um, anybody on competition shows, uh, PAs, you know, a key set PA who needs to um, cue extras, things like that. Um, so prior to the fuel monitor, the only options were made for walkie talkies. They were, mm. um, it's, you know, there's like these coily pieces that have a big rubber connector behind the ear and they're not designed for us and TV and film. Um, yeah, the transducer is going into a coily earpiece and your frequency range is really limited. Exactly, exactly. Um, so... I knew I wanted to create something that was very comfortable with a lightweight ear hook. As you can see here, it's a very thin, lightweight piece of rubber that goes behind the ear, um, swivels to left and right ears and pulls up and down for large and small ears. So you can, you can slide that up and down. Yeah, can you slide up. that out as well? If so somebody... it even, if you want to use it as a simple earbud without the ear hook, the metal part pulls right out of this grommet um, and you can replace it. You can wear it just like this. You could pull the rubber grommet out as well. That's more of a permanent change since it's <laughs> really difficult to put it back in there. But if you want it to be removable repeatedly, um, you can just slide it back in and out of that grommet. And tell me about the connector on the bottom. And, and you also have, you do sell it also with a, uh, an adapter. Yeah, so the connector, You'll notice the connector is a mono connector um, so that it is ComTech compatible. Now this is actually, this is the second generation of the field monitor. Um, the original had a different connector which rendered it incompatible with ComTech. However, now with the mono connector, we're able to make it compatible with ComTech and all IFBs. Um, so because we did that, we didn't want to leave stereo users in the dust. So in every package is included a stereo to mono adapter. And this adapter sums the audio into one ear. So if you have, um, if you're listening to a stereo IFB, you know, such as the, the Shure PSM series, uh, Electrosonics Duet, uh, Sennheiser G3s, any of those stereo IFBs where you can get uh, that stereo adapter will allow you to get two channels in one ear. Uh, it's also great for plugging into camera to monitor two right. channels, um, to checking your playback, you know, if you're sending stereo hops to camera or what have you. 
Um, so that's included in the package. Also included in the package are extra silicone tips. They come in the large and small. So again, for big ears and small ears, and that way you also have a backup built right in. So we give you spares. That's great. Um, what else did you bring? In addition to the field monitor, we have the scene monitor headphone. So the scene monitor is our uh, relative new kit on the block in that it came out this past summer. So the scene monitor um, is a over the head set of cans designed for script supervisors and directors and producers, um, typically more so in scripted TV and mm -hmm. film. Um, there, again, it was, there's a lot of options on the market for headphones. Obviously, there's millions of <laughs> headphones right. out there. Um, but there wasn't any one thing that checked all the boxes that we need for our use mm -hmm. as sound mixers. We need something with a single cable rather than dual cables that come out of two speakers that can, you know, choke out a producer. Um, <laughs> we Job need security. Yeah, we need something lightweight. Um, so, because producers have to wear this all day on right. set. They're wearing 12, 14 hours a day. Hopefully not more than that. Um, <laughs> so, and they need a light headband that won't mess up their hair, that won't break, that won't bend. And the biggest thing is for storage, because we have to store, you know, some mixers have 10, 20, 40 Comtex if you're a commercial user, mm -hmm. uh, commercial mixer. So we need to store so many of these. So they, we have speakers on these that fold flat and lay flat so that you can throw them in a drawer, throw them, we, we've put, you know, 10 of these in one of the old electro pouches that, that every everybody has, still has. Yeah. yeah. Um, so storage is a big deal. This cable here, um, again, is three feet long because it just needs to get to your belt. So it's a straight cable um, that doesn't coil or kink up or not, or you know, no one's gonna be tripping over it. Um, and then again, in keeping with the theme of giving extras, it comes with two sets of ear pads. We have the leatherette ear pads that people are familiar with. So it's the, the standard feel of the 7506s. Exactly, exactly. Um, so that's a, it's a soft and very luxury look to yeah. them. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Um, and they also come with these silicone pads. And these silicone pads won't rip or tear. Um, they're very durable. They're very comfortable. They're also very hygienic because you could just wipe it off, you know, with a, a wet paper towel or a alcohol swab. So for those mixers who are constantly swapping, swapping out, back and forth. you know, context, giving out a different context to people every day, um, it's real hygienic. For them. That's great. So that, that's always appreciated. And are these serviceable in the field or? They are. So one of the great things about the scene monitor um, is that on the inside here, when you remove the left speaker's ear pad, you see here, I'll lined up perfectly. Um, you've got two Phillips screws right in here. So you unscrew those and you can pop off this piece in the field and get right to that speaker. So if you need to replace the cable, you can do it in the field. If you need to, you know, if you wanted to adapt these to make these uh, a mono headphone, so you have no um, phasing, mm -hmm. um, you can do so without even soldering. You pop that open, snip the wires and twist them together, pop it back on and, and you've wow, got it easily adapted. So it's, the, you know, it was important to make this easily repairable mm -hmm. so that you can maintain them in the field um, and durable enough so that you hopefully don't have to. Right. Um, and... But what's the what's the price point? I know that you know well, servicing them in the field is is might take some time, but if you're in an emergency, but um, I mean they're they're relatively inexpensive. That's the thing is they're they're we think they're pretty inexpensive. Um, so the the scene monitor headphone retails for fifteen dollars a piece, and they are also sold in a ten pack for one hundred and twenty five dollars. Gotcha. So for those productions that have many 
Comtex or IFBs out on set, um, we recommend that people, encourage people to buy them with their expendables. It's always better to spend production's money than our own. So we, it's so easy to get a, a 10 pack of them, have production buy them for the season or for the run of your show or your movie. Mm -hmm. That way you don't have to deal with L&D. Right. You, you know, producers can walk away with them at the end of the show and they're happy. Everybody's happy. No fuss, no muss. Um, and then you're cleaning them every day for exactly around and, and I'm sure you know mixers will have that you will you will get into cleaning them and maintaining them as as we do for every set since yep. every set has its own set of challenges. Great. Now, tell me about your company. You guys are in California. Yep, Los Angeles based. Um, we are the entirety of our company is myself and my wife Lindsay. Um, so we. Design the products, manufacture the products, package them, market them. We do it all ourselves. Um, uh, so every product that's ever been <laughs> sold has literally gone through my hands or Lindsay's hands. Um, so we stand by the products 100%. That's awesome. And you're and a union sound mixer. In I am. And these are the products I use on set myself. So that's, that's really, if nobody else ever bought them, I would still have the best products on set for me. So I know that because I use them and because I love them, I know that other people will and do too. And um, response has been pretty incredible um, this year with the release of the new generation of the field monitor and since the scene monitors announcement this past summer, they're on. Uh, big Netflix movies, network TV shows, they are everywhere now. So um, it's been a hell of a ride so far and anxious and eager to get them in every sound mixer's hands so that they can pass them on to producers and directors and and see what they've been missing out on too. That's great. No, it's great to have something built uh, by somebody that actually uses it on set. And, you know, production sound mixer making them for production sound mixers. Yeah. And you even talked to me about the ability if you know, somebody wanted something custom or you've got some uh, great idea is to reach out and, you know, oh, I need, I've got a really tall director that he, he, you need a six foot cable. Can you make that? And, and yeah. that's really great to hear somebody that's very flexible. And, and look, I don't have all of the answers for every production since every sound mixer has their own set of issues. Every production has yeah. their own set of challenges. So we are adaptable and we are you know, we want to tweak our products and improve upon them and keep releasing more products that fit people's needs and, you know, answer a question for people. That's great. Solutions. Well, I appreciate you coming out today. Do you have anything else you want to add? Thanks. No, um, I think we, we've hit it all. Uh, I want to thank my no lovely... No questions? I want to thank my lovely wife for... She's monitoring all of our questions. If you have any questions, let us yeah. know. Um, great. Uh, well, thank you for joining us, uh, Gotham Sound TV. Um, if you want to see any of our uh, old videos, go to gothamsound.tv. Follow us on Facebook or Twitter for the latest news. And if you have any ideas or things you want to see up here, uh, want to know more about, uh, just hit us with an email at info at gothamsound.com. Thank you.